Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a fully working PS2 emulator on your iOS device. No jailbreak, no complicated setup required. This method is safe, fast, and works perfectly as long as you follow the instructions carefully. I've personally tested it, and it runs smoothly with most PS2 titles. Make sure to watch the entire video from start to finish so you don't miss any key steps, especially the installation part. It only takes a few minutes. Before we dive into the installation, there are a couple of quick settings we need to check to make sure everything works smoothly. First, head over to your device's settings, then tap on General. From there, go to Background App Refresh and make sure it's set to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data. This will ensure the app can run properly in the background. Next, go back to the main settings screen and tap on Battery. Make sure Low Power Mode is turned off. This is important because it can interfere with how the app functions. Once you've taken care of these two quick adjustments, you're all set to move on to the installation. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's move forward. Open your browser and go to tweakoapp.com. This is a reliable platform that offers various modded and helpful tools. Use the search bar to look up PS2 emulator and select it from the list of results. You'll be taken to a detailed page with info like download stats and user reviews. Just hit the Download Now button, and the download process will begin. The download usually only takes a few moments. If this is your first time using the site, there's one more step you'll need to complete. Don't worry, it's quick, simple, and completely free. You'll be redirected to a verification page where you'll be asked to install a few free apps from the App Store or Play Store. There will be a clear tutorial showing you exactly what to do. Once the verification is complete, the installation will start automatically. In my case, the setup finished without any issues, and as you can see, the app is now fully installed and ready to use. And that's it. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end. If this helped you out and everything's working fine, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more useful guides like this. Got questions or ran into a problem? Drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.